Right then guys, hello, it is GT here, and in today's video, I am going to show you how to get your very own treehouse in Skyrim. So guys, I've got myself a treehouse located just between Riverwood and Whiterun, and that is the Hunter's Treehouse mod. So in terms of housing mods, the Hunter's Treehouse definitely is not one of the bigger ones. And as mentioned, you can find the treehouse directly between Riverwood and Whiterun. And you pretty much just follow the normal path that you would do on your way over to Whiterun. And then you'll see it here just up in one of the trees. So let's go up the ladders. And as you may be able to tell, it's a little bit cramped up here. We've not got too much space to move around in. Oh, <laughs> So as I've gone into third person mode here, you will be able to see that there really is a tiny amount of space. But even in this limited area, you can find useful stuff. There's a tanning rack, a nice chair to sit down, and you have got some wood that you can get over there if you really wanted to. That's pretty much it for the outside, other than loads of hanging moss, which means you can't really see. Now, as you may have guessed, the inside of the Hunter's Treehouse is going to be pretty small, but I really, really like it. So let's go and have a look. Okay, so here we are inside the Hunter's Treehouse. And you can see that I really was not kidding when I said it's tiny. I mean, literally, look how much space there is. The fact that this place is so tiny really is one of the things that makes me like it more. So as you can see on the left-hand side, literally just as you come in, there are two chests in which you can store your items, along with a bookshelf if you want to store some things on there, and a few things like some ale, and if you fancy frying up a medium-rare mammoth steak, good to go. Directly next to the door over here, we do have a weapon rack, which can add to the aesthetic of the place a bit. If you do fancy playing survival mode as well, there is a cooking pot. So that can be very, very useful if you play that mode. Over here, we do have another chest and some barrels and some sacks and stuff, as well as a safe. So keep your valuables in there. Another feature I really like is the fact that there's a map of Skyrim just on the wall. Like, you know, the one you get in the game when you first get it and you put it on your wall as a kid? Love it. We have an alchemy lab over in the corner just in case you want to cook up some fun. And there is also a book, The Cabin in the Woods, which I think is pretty apt considering where we are. So there's a kind of bunk bed setup going over here, but on top, instead of another person, there is also a shrine of Talos. So if you get any diseases or you need it for any other reason, it's there for you. And of course, if you do want a bit more hanging moss, there's loads in here. Very easy to miss feature two. We do have a mounted mud crab up on a plaque on the wall. But honestly, aside from that, within here, there really is not anything else. And that, to be honest, is part of the allure of the place for me. It's simple, it's quick, and it is easy. And I know that there are absolutely amazing housing mods that you can get in Skyrim and basically get big mansions and stuff like that. And they are great too. But to be totally honest, a lot of the time, I just want somewhere simple where I'm just going to have everything in front of me straight away. And the Hunter's Treehouse is perfect for that. And to be honest, who the hell didn't want a treehouse when they were a kid? So if you do want to get this mod for yourself but don't know actually how to get mods, just have a look in the description and I have linked a video of how to do it. So all in all, I do actually really love the Hunter's Treehouse mod and it's one that I've used for years and years now. A lot of the time I do actually use this as my main go-to house. So guys, I fully recommend that you get the Hunter's Treehouse. Now if you enjoyed the video, do not forget to drop a like and of course if you are new, don't forget to hit subscribe. Aside from that, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.